Okay, I just came across a video that was really disturbing. It was on Memorial Day. I don't know how many people have seen it. I just now saw it, um, maybe because I don't have TV. Uh, but if I've just now seen it, maybe there's other people that haven't seen it. And it was a veteran that was in Hudson Valley. And he was talking about, and this is something I didn't know, Memorial Day was started by uh, freed slaves that went to honor the Union soldiers. They dug up the mass grave and they, you know, made sure each one was buried well and they honored them uh, for what they did. And during this guy's speech of, of telling this history, they cut his mic because they said, well, this is not part of our program. But now the Legion is looking into it, and he said, this is not the country I fought for, you know, uh, to, to curtail my freedom of speech, to, to talk about historical events of Memorial Day. So um, I want to look at, you know, um, why did they do this? You know, um, it, it's horrendous that something like this would be done. And I'm going to put the link to that video in the description so that you, if you haven't heard this speech, it was wonderful. And again, it's history that I didn't know. So many historical things are coming out now that I didn't know about black history that are so important uh, to be told. You know, this is another thing they'll curtail that we're not taught in school that we should be, you know. And this would go far in helping race relations and stuff if they put the stuff out there um, <clears throat> to be seen. So what we have, the challenge is love, okay? And indeed, that would be the challenge with this. Okay, this is about going forward, uh, looking at our history, and, uh, okay, fighting for rights. Um, whistleblower, you know, and I could see where the whistleblower would be, because he was out there uh, telling the correct history. So let's see what else we have on this. Unbelievable. Okay, that eating away, eating away clouds. Oop. <laughs> Hold on. We put something on here so it doesn't. There we go. Okay, let's see what we have. Yeah, this guy was doing the right thing. He was doing an honorable thing, and they cut his mic. Okay. So what we have here, the challenge is, you know, and this is like usually my Trumpian thing. You know, one's the wish-fulfilling thing, the merchant. Um, okay. So the challenge is them trying to eat away, you know, bring the clouds cutting away at, the, at um, somebody that's doing the right thing, that's got love in their heart, that's, that's putting out the truth, okay? In the center of it, we have going forward and we need to come to balance. You know, he wants to balance the scales. He wants to put out the history of what actually took place, how Memorial Day began. And I think that's really beautiful that they went to honor the soldiers that had fought for their freedom. And it said they had 3,000 uh, black school children that were marching in this parade and they all carried flowers and they, you know, reburied these people and put flowers out there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let me get the last card. This is important.
Okay. So what we have going forward, he was like a whistleblower. He's out there, you know, um, saying the right things, doing the right things. <clears throat> and the key to this is bringing the message forward because we faced a lot of loss. And the black community has faced a lot of loss because the history is not being told. You know, it's been buried. We can still recover things. We faced a lot of loss, but there are things that can be recovered. And we have to recover it. The key is recovering it and putting that message forward and fighting for the right, standing up, being a whistleblower, speaking the truth so that we can go forward and bring balance, okay? Bring more balance. That needs to happen because the challenge is we have these merchants, we have the white supremacists that want to bring clouds and, you know, eat away at the history, okay? They don't want the genuine history to be out there. What are they so afraid of? Okay, what is their problem? That the black community's done more than they have? Okay, okay, it paints them in a pitiful light. And well, it should, okay? But this is just another incidence and in showing up what they are at the heart, okay? They are merchants. They're selling the white supremacist nonsense. And it's, you know, it's not okay. It's the same thing with the, with the people that, that preach this, uh, Israel can do no wrong, okay? Israel is the chosen one. And, and meanwhile, they're, they're killing Palestinians, throwing them out of their homes, you know, stealing the land. I mean, it's just, it's, it, this stuff has got to end. It's got to end, okay? So let me, I, I want to do another reading on this. Are they going to eventually overturn this nonsense and allow genuine black history to be taught in schools? Because I know they're trying to suppress it. Even more, they're trying to suppress black and brown vote. They're trying to suppress history being told. Um, my feeling is this old cadre is going out. These ones that wish they had the plantations back, wish they could have slaves, you know, wish they could, you know, just get away with the most heinous things. I think when they're gone, that things are going to change. But let's look and see. Are they eventually going to um, teach genuine black history, genuine history of this country in the schools? Not only black history, but also Native American, indigenous tribes, what actually took place. So we have uh, the challenge is the investigation, investigating um, the center of it, we have, you know, uh, fighting for this, being a whistleblower, putting it out there, okay? Going forward, we've had loss, okay? There's loss. But let's see what we have with the rest of this. Um, let's see what the other clarifiers are going to tell us about this. There's loss, but there's things that can be recovered. Let's see if they're going to be recovered or not. Let's see what the investigations are going to bring, you know. Let's hope it gets better. We have a woman for investigations and Lily. The challenge. the past. 
So the, the, for me, the lily in this feels like, you know, something long that tried to be put to rest, okay? Something long dead. Uh, and they have now women investigating people and, uh, you know, with maybe more compassion, revisiting history. So that's the challenge, to get them to revisit history and, and to re resurrect. Let's see how we go. Yeah, so this is, again, <clears throat> the center of it. We have the whistleblower or those fighting for truth, starting the fight for truth. And I think that more are going to start coming on board to share this. Like I said, I have hope for the newer generation that's coming up that's going to fight for it. But let's see what the last one holds. Let's see what the last one holds. We've got the key again. Key is the direction. Key is the direction. And let's see what our last clarifier is. What is the key? What is the direction that they're going to choose to go? Balance. Balance. So this is this is um, <clears throat> promising. It looks like, you know, in the center, of, we have those people that are going to fight for this. They're going to stand up, be whistleblowers and say, no, you need to know the real history. We're going to put out the genuine history that's going on. We have those that are coming up that are going to look at the long that what they've tried to bury in the past. Uh, they're going to try to resurrect it. And again, look at the losses faced and they are going to turn around and take what's left. And the key is the direction and the direction is going to be balance, trying to balance the scales. Um, so this is hopeful. This is really hopeful that it's going to eventually get better. Now, again, the, this is something that's not going to happen by itself. It's something that has to be fought for. But I think there are enough up and coming when they get this old mud turtle cadre out um, that things can begin to change. But remember, it's darkest before the dawn. Um, stuff is going to start coming out June 10th. And there's going to, uh, I, I still get the feeling they're going to try to do something to overthrow the government again. Um, because uh, Trump is still saying, oh no, August, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be back in. So I think they're still up to something. Um, it's not going to succeed, but they're going to try. Okay, they're going to try. So we'll have to watch and see. Uh, how things play out. So much love and light. If you've enjoyed this reading, please give a thumbs up. I do so appreciate it. I love all my tribe out there. Thank you for tuning in and spending some time with me. I do so appreciate it. Much love and light. Stay safe out there and we'll see you online.